In this video, I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on the Trips tight end offense and how a lot of pro players use this offense as the best offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21 and so if you want to improve at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Okay guys, so uh, basically what I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk with you a little bit about the Trips tight end offensive um, offense that you see a lot of people running in, uh, really in particularly how you can really use this well, um, especially in regs now that the uh, Madden Classic is on the way, uh, whereas this is a regs tournament. I want to share with you a couple quick little um, routes and play concepts that you can utilize in your trips tight end. Now on the defensive side of the ball, uh, I'm going to be using my 35 wide uh, defensive ebook and kind of talking a little bit about that uh, as well. But the 35 wide is the best defense in the entire game and for very good reason. It just gives you the ability to do all kinds of adjustments and things like that. So um, the trip side in offense is going to really force someone to have to adjust. And I have a full ebook out on the trips tight end um, that you can pick up in the description of the of the uh, video. It comes to us from the New England Patriots ebook that I released um, about a month ago, and a lot of people really have gotten a lot out of that ebook. So, anyways, all that to say, we're going to dive right in here. I'm going to come out in some man coverage. Um, the audibles that we're going to go through today, we're going to go over doubles in sale, which I believe is one of the most important um, plays from the New England Patriots uh, or even the uh, Raiders playbook. PA counter go is another important play. Uh, curl flat is another important play that we have at our disposal. And then the only other play that I really want to hit on is X spot. A lot of people really like to run that. Um, that's not in the New England playbook. We use PA slot corner um, if you're running with New England. Uh, and then PA shot post. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is take curl flat out of my audibles. And so I'm going to basically come out in that every single play. And this is what you're going to get, as you see right here. Now, curl flat is such a good play, and the reason why is because one of the things that most people don't realize about trips tight end is the alignment issues that it can cause uh, with the uh, man coverage. So when people run man coverage, this thing can do a really, really good job of causing just bad alignment. So uh, what that allows for your offense is it allows you to do something as simple as you know motion this drag across the formation and what you'll see here is this tight end will pretty much darn near roast his guy every single time and what, all we're doing is smart routing the corner up that's literally the only thing we're doing and then we're simply just motioning over a, uh, a receiver on a drag route now you might be asking well do you have to motion him over you don't really have to um, you'll see here you see you get a natural man switch that natural man switch is actually really really cool because a lot of times what that what that really boils down to is you'll see someone do something like this. They'll take this guy and they'll man him up on the running back and then they'll blitz their user. Like you see this all the time, right? Well, with this setup right here, what you'll notice is if I just put the running back on a route, you see that they switch. And what that does is it gives you outside leverage so you can throw the ball all the way to the right side of the field. Now it's even better against the 335 wide meta that a lot of people are using. So a lot of people like to do this out of 335 wide and they'll basically man this guy up here and then they're going to use her with this guy, right? Well, again, when you do this little man switch glitch right here, just by putting a table route out there to the running back, you're going to see here that oftentimes you're going to get some type of switch on those players. Now, right there, we didn't get it, but normally we would get a natural man switch um, to occur. So the reason that that's significant is because it allows this play to really be a nice little base play for you um, just to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage, right? Um, you're going to be able to beat man coverage from this. Uh, as you can see here, even if you even if you just leave the running back on his block and release route, that route beats man coverage as well. Now, the next thing I want to talk about a little bit is this curl route on the outside. Now, a lot of people are running shaded down coverage on their man uh, assignment, and so it's going to make them play a little bit better in terms of how they're going to play curl routes and things like that. But all you're going to want to do is you're just going to still want to click on and just aggressive catch that. As long as they don't have one step ahead on their corners out there, this will be just fine. You'll be able to hit this route uh, with relatively uh, ease. And again, as you can see here, this little corner route is absolutely incredible against man-to-man -man coverage. You just have to make um, the right read. Now, one of the things that I haven't touched on yet is this post route over the middle. And this post route can be ran really in two ways. It can be smart routed or it can be ran as is. You see if it run it as is, it just beats man to the inside. It's a very good man beating route. 
um, it's a route that really does a good job of beating zone coverage as well as man coverage, right? Because the beauty of the 335 is you'll see a lot of people run man, but they'll also run some zone concepts as well out of the Mike Blitz 3, which is one of the best zone coverages in the entire game. What you'll notice about Mike Blitz 3 here, though, is I can hit that tight end route like pretty much like a routine over and over and over again. Now, the play that's going to go kind of in hand in hand with this curl flat play is the play doubles sail, doubles and sail. What you're going to notice here is now you have the same corner route to the tight end, but you have a different corner route here to Chris Godwin. As you can see, you can smart route it, and it goes really, really shallow, which is really, really good uh, in light of what we want to do. So all we're going to do with this setup um, is simply smart route both corner routes. We're going to take Mike Evans and put him on a streak. And then we're going to take Antonio Brown and put him on a little whip route or put him on a little flat route, a little out route, something like that um, to get him, you know, to get him open. And what you're going to see here is against main man coverage, oftentimes one of those two routes is going to get open on the outside. Now, this is where I actually really, really like um, situations like this. This is a really, really good play out of trip side. And it's just a simple flood to the left, but it's such a powerful play. And the reason why is because, again, you want to put Evans on a fade. Uh, I would put him on a fade, not a streak. But the reason why is because if they're running a lot of press man coverage, which you will see that in this game, oftentimes Mike Evans will get a one-on-one, -on -one and he actually does a good job at you know, getting over the top of that coverage, especially, again, if they shade coverage down like a lot of people will do, they'll shade that coverage down. When they do that, you're going to either get this instant win on one of those two routes. Sometimes they don't always get over the top, but in the event that it's a one-on-one, -on -one, normally if you have a Mike Evans type of receiver, you can easily uh, just pass lead that to the to the outside and then click on and go make a play uh, with your user. Now, what I like to do is, let's say that we're facing a lot of that, then what I'll do is something like this. I'll take Antonio Brown, just bring him over on that drag route again, and now I have pretty much that same concept. Um, the only difference is now I've given myself a lot more space on the outside here. Now, Brady just, for whatever reason, his... his uh, passing trajectory is not the best. Um, it's not the worst either for regs, but this is just something that I've noticed that has really helped me become a very, very effective passer. So, um, all that to say, and you could put Brown on anything. You could put him on a slant if you wanted to. I just personally think the drag works the best because you automatically have this inside positioning. And then, as you see here, this route to Godwin does a really good job. Now, how does this play against zone coverage? Well, against zone coverage, what you're going to notice here is number one, notice that this little natural flip of the corner when they audible to a zone coverage, if they audible to a zone coverage out of that set, um, they're always gonna get that little natural flip that you just saw. So anyway, all that to say, if you watch this corner route, it's a smart route of corner route. It's very similar to the corner route out of the gun bunch. You can pass like this on the sideline, click on and make a nice little catch like that. So these two plays in combination are really, really powerful and really, really hard to stop from the bunch tight end or from the trips tight end offense so if you want to get the full ebook on trips tight end and the entire new england playbook which in my opinion is the best overall playbook in the game that link is in the description of this video a lot of people have had success for that and if you have any questions or if you would like to see a free sample of that entire ebook go ahead and shoot me a text message my number is 812 Two one six three six four four. It's also in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on tonight's stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.